Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Mindy. I am a teacher, a budgeter, a wife, and a mom to two little girls. And I am going to take you through our November budget closeout. So we are going to close out our budget for November, show you everything we spent our money on, how much income we had, all of our expenses, and where we allocated that. So I will take you there now. Now, if you like this spreadsheet, you are welcome to make a copy of it for yourself. I will link it in the description box below. Uh, it is just a Google sheet and all you have to do is go to file and make a copy and then you can change it for all of your uh, expenses and all of your sinking funds goals. But let's just go through what we have um, here. So we made $6,247 in November and our mortgage was um, $1,200, that's what they took out. We budgeted $1,150 because that is the minimum payment and I had extra taken out that I've been trying to change for several months and clearly I'm not confirming it correctly, but that's okay, that $50 is going towards principal. And then we have our internet, which came out $74.99, so we were one penny under budget, but I do like to budget nice round numbers. Our water sewer garbage bill, a little bit more, $126.94, so we were over by just $1.94. And then our electricity, this was interesting, so our electricity is $185, which we paid. And then we used to have a rental property, and we had it on continuous rental coverage, you know, so they don't charge you extra. And then we sold that rental property several years ago. And apparently we're, we were still on that coverage and whoever was living there uh, moved out and had their stuff shut off and it went back into our name. So we had to clear that up, but we did have to pay $17.49. Interesting, huh? All right, gas was, gas to heat our home is $53 and that's what came out. Okay, so our cell phone bill. So we upgraded our cell phones and I had budgeted um, $400 because I didn't know what it was going to look like. And I had since changed that down to $225 because our next month is when we're going to have all of the upgrade fees and things. So I moved that from our cell phone and moved it into birthdays so that we could do something kind of special for my daughter. So we spent $212.41 on cell phones in the month of November. Uh, $44 for Peloton came out and our Hulu was $75.99. I do think that is going up this next month. All right, so Peacock is $5 and they had a Black Friday special where you could get it for $1.99. So we had already paid for it for this month, but my husband canceled his and then I signed up for the $1.99 or 99 cents or I think it's 99 cents um, for the year. So actually it was $6.98, but we're gonna save that significantly. Um, we have a house cleaner, she's amazing. Um, and she, we didn't have her come the week of Thanksgiving, so it, it was a little bit less, $345. And then our Mad Money Cash, so that's just money that we take out and we each get $100 cash and we don't have to um, track that or anything, so we did take that out and it was $200. So all of our fixed expenses totaled $2,541.80. Um, and we were under budget by $146.20. And I bet you're thinking, dang, you're doing so good, but wait, you just wait. So investing in savings, they were all pretty um, normal. So M1 Finance, we sent $25. Acorns was $55, so $5 over, um, but that is okay. Our 529 plans for our two daughters, they each got 50, so a total of 100, 100, and that is what we were planning on. Our Fidelity brokerage account, I guess I forgot to change um, the allocated amount. We just put $50 towards that, 
and so that was $50 under, and then my husband's IRA, um, $100 went towards that. All right, for our variable expenses. Gas, we were way under, so um, that was really good, but we were gone for a week and we did not pay for gas. So we spent $207.26 on gas and we had budgeted 350. So that was $142 under budget. Um, and then our food was $817. That's actually really not too far over, but we weren't here for a week. And um, we went to go visit my parents in uh, Arizona and we had meals planned out and my parents had groceries for us. We didn't really go out to eat at all. Um, so it's high for that, $17.29 over budget. Restaurants, $113.85, so $13.85 over. Again, we were gone for a week and that came out of our um, vacation budget, so it was just eating out here. Costco was $274, again, over budget, $24.68, but our miscellaneous was under budget, so I feel really good about that, $194.13, so $5.87 cents under budget. So really we were under budget in the variable expenses category by $92.79. I guess we didn't do too bad this month. It felt like a high spend month, but a lot of the stuff was coming out of our sinking funds, I guess. So our sinking funds total was $1,484 and that is what we sent to it. And we have, um, we have $283.99 left over. So in this instance, what I would do if, you know, if we were under budget is, you know, put this towards our goals. And I've talked about how we're starting our real estate investing down in sinking funds. So normally I would just roll that over, but with Christmas in December, I'm just gonna leave it as a cushion and whatever we have left over in our checking at the end of the month, I will put towards our real estate investing, but I wanna make sure that we're covered for Christmas. So I'm just gonna leave it in there. Um, but I'll go through our sinking funds and um, what we have spent out of them. I, I changed this a little bit so you can see spent as opposed to just total in there. But our previous total, maybe I'll make this a little smaller. So, um, car insurance we didn't spend any money out of and I just wanted it to be a nice round number so we put $77 in and now we have a total of 200 we pay that every six months um, so we just save a little bit each month until it comes due. quarterly taxes nothing came out they're not due until January but we didn't save anything to them because we already have it saved up and ready to go car registration we put $15 in and nothing came out and then here is where I put that extra $175 from cell phone was into birthdays and holidays because it was my daughter's birthday. So we had $100 in there, we put 320 in and we spent $322. So she got a little birthday party with her friends at the movie theater and then dad took her on an overnight little um, trip. She turned 10. so. Um, they went to a hotel and they went shopping at the mall and she just had a really good time. So we have $98 in there now. Then for Christmas, we have started spending for Christmas. It is coming upon us. So we had 2,400 and we spent 1,426. So now we have $995 left and we are getting close. Our lawn service, we had 70, we put 50 in and we obviously I don't know if it's obvious to you, it is snowing here in Idaho, so we will not be having anything sprayed, but $120 is in there. Kids, summer fun, and back to school had $380 in it. We put 50, and then I spent 121. I signed up for a half marathon this summer, so oh, that came out of that. Um, $308 is what we have in there. Pets had 11, we put 63 in and we didn't spend any. This is like vet bills and things, not necessarily their their food. So that comes out of our grocery and Costco budget. So we have 75 and we're working on building that up again. 
Medical had $785. We put $100 in and we spent $615. So we have $269 left. I had my wisdom teeth pulled. We had a couple of um, medical bills we had to pay. Our house maintenance had $779. Uh, we put $50 in and we spent $86.81. So our total is $742. Car maintenance, we had $460. Uh, we put 50 in and we spent 334. My car needed a new battery and 179. Do you feel, do you see why I feel like it was such a high spend month? My heavens. So golf is, had a balance of 340. We put 50 in and we didn't spend any. And then travel, we had 2365 in there. We put a hundred and we spent 791. So we had a 1674 left in there. Our Disney World had 1300 We put 100 in, and now it has a balance of 1400 Our yearly subscriptions, 1015 was the previous balance. We put in 150 and we spent 370 We had a couple annual um, membership dues due this month. I believe Costco and then a credit card annual fee. So we have $795. Our escrow had 2,000, we put in 300, and now we have 2,300. I just got our tax bill, so we will be paying that in December. And then real estate investing had zero, we put 803 in. So um, you can see our, our sinking funds total went down quite a bit, but it has 11,000 in there. Um, like I said, we still have that $283 left to play with, but we're going to leave it as a cushion until the end of December. Thank you for going over our November budget closeout with me. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave a comment. I'm happy to answer anything. If you want to get a copy of the budget spreadsheet, all you have to do is click on the link, go to file and make a copy. Um, if you request access, that would give you access to the whole thing and then you could change it. So uh, you just want to make a copy so that you can change it and it doesn't affect it for anyone else. Uh, thanks so much for sticking around with me and I will catch you on the next one.